Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media without a bow tie because I didn't care about putting on a dress shirt and a bow tie this time around. But we've got another installment of This Week in EDM where we go over songs that came out this week in EDM. I have picked a random assortment slew of songs that I think that I wanted to talk about. And uh, these are the 16 tracks that I wanted to talk about this week. So uh, let's hop into it. As always, uh, the Spotify link is down below if you want to see all of these songs. Make sure you sort by recently added. You can see the order for the week. And uh, we'll hop in and say that there's no trash this week. No trash songs this week. Uh, but there is some bad. So let's hop into the bad category. Uh, and the first one is Drowning by Armin Hammer featuring uh, Helene. Just sounds too derivative for me. I'm not a huge Armin, Famer, Armin Hammer fan. Uh, but yeah, the mixing just felt a little flat and less than desirable, especially with that bass line just being not as prominent in the mix as I would have liked it to be personally. Uh, it, not a super bad song, but I think just boring more so than anything. So I've heard the same kind of mellow from, uh, from Armin Hammer now, but... Uh, then next up, we've got Old School by Marshmello and Ray Volpe. Uh, can Ray Volpe save a Marshmello song? Kind of. Uh, the second drop uh, that is definitely more Ray Volpe sounding uh, is definitely the best part of the track, and it's pretty solid, but the whole thing just feels off and a little weird. It's a definitely short track that just, I don't know, it just had a weird feeling. It kind of ended, and you're like, oh, oh, and that was it. So that was that. Uh, moving into the meh category songs that I think are uh, are meh. And again, remember, these are just my opinions. Uh, we've got Milky Way by Kirby. Uh, didn't quite grab me too much uh, attentively on this one. Uh, too little going on, I found, even though there was a lot. There was a lot happening, but it didn't feel like within what was happening, there was a lot. That doesn't make any sense, but that makes sense in my brain and maybe it made sense to you there. But uh, yeah, just a lower registered uh, club track here uh, that is meant to be mixed in and out of and uh, other things with on top of. So uh, yeah, not not too bad. We've got Rave Infection by Nanobi. Uh, Nanobi has bon been on that Eurobeat grind uh, for the early part of 2023 now. Uh, this is not so much my flavor, not so much my style. I enjoy it a ton, but uh, it is really colorful. And so I do enjoy that with it. Then we got Born to Suffer, a very, very different sound by Sudden Death, <laughs> going from Nanobi to Sudden Death. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of your classic destructive uh, dubstep sound from Sudden Death here. Again, this one, also not my flavor, not my kind of preferred style. Sounds a little dry, I think, compared to some of the other stuff he did. Um, I did listen through uh, the VF Void 2, uh, which I didn't, I, I never ended up reviewing from past, but uh, I, I thought that this was okay compared to the rest of the other ones. I think the uh, that whole other album was maybe better than this, so, but... That's just my opinion. Uh, then we got No Gravity by Delta Heavy. Uh, Delta Heavy has this very distinct drum and bass sound, especially with that synth line on all of their tracks. And uh, yeah, this is this is just that to a T. Um, the uncredited vocals here do their job. They're pretty by the book. And um, it's kind of your same Delta Heavy song you've heard over and over again. So it's not bad, but again, it's not different, I'll say. Uh, and there's a lot of that uh, this week, especially, so. I've got Hopeful by Odessa. Uh, this was supposedly cut from the album and now is acts as an interlude of sorts, released as a single uh, after after the album dropped. But uh, yeah, it's a soft track for the whole time and fairly linear, uh, a little bit uh, not as explosive as I would have expected from Odessa. Then we've got Love Runs Out by Affinity and Drawer. I want to say Drawer. I'm not even sure how to say that exactly, but I would say Drawer. Uh, Exactly the melodic track that you would have expected, and I would have expected personally. Uh, as I've said a million times, it's uh, it's it's good, and it's okay, it's whatever, it's just not unique. I've heard it a lot. Um, so especially that, the kind of somber guitar outro, I just feel like uh, melodic tracks just really lean on those nowadays, so... That's that. Uh, and then we've got Call Me Up by Nitro Fun featuring Namel. Uh, very nostalgic, feel-good house song here, but uh, honestly, nothing to write home about. It felt like the most of anything meh track, I would say, this week. But um, if you enjoy the kind of old-school house style with, uh, with Nitro Fun style as well, uh, you might enjoy this one quite a bit. Then we've got Song of the Year by uh, Kill the Noise and Wooly. A uh, bit of a throwback to the early dubstep eras with this track here, but uh, it, it came and went super quickly. Just another quick one that felt like it just ended fairly abruptly, and it didn't feel like it offered a, a ton, I would say, in the end. Uh, it was not Song of the Year. 
I would say. <laughs> uh, moving into the good category songs that I thought were, uh, I, th I thought were good. Uh, we got Far Out by Tokyo Machine. Uh, Hard Dance from Tokyo, that's new. Uh, it's a fairly, got a, a Persona-esque vibe, I would say to it, if you've ever played the Persona games, at least that's my understanding, uh, with that kind of very, very fast-paced, uh, plucky bass line. Uh, I really admire the style switcher from Tokyo and going for something very, very different, even artwork-wise, but uh, I do think this should just be a one-timer. I think if Tokyo did a a lot of other songs like this one it would the novelty would kind of wear off uh, but I do like it as a kind of one-off thing from Tokyo now we've got Pinnacle by Dactyl. Uh, very long, expansive track, just over seven minutes uh, with a cool performance music video attached to it as well out on Bitbird. Uh, very ja some jazzy elements sprinkled in here and there. Uh, some like br some brass uh, instrumentation. It's uh, it's quite a fun track. It doesn't do a whole ton, I would say, but is still solid. So that's that. They've got Back Online by Memba, Pluko, Evan Guy, and Bikla. Uh, big collaboration that works out great here. Uh, again, not too explosive a track that what I would have expected from a kind of bigger collaboration like this, uh, but it is very innately that Memba tribal trap sound that uh, I've at least come to know and love from Memba. So. Uh, and then, again, uh, Call Me Up, but this time by Hello World and Sajan Narayal. Uh, well, I butchered that, I'm sure. Uh, just a, I mean, I love Hello World sound here. Um, and I, it's got a very unique technological electronic sense to it. I know everything is electronic, but like if you actually get rid of the music idea of it, very like electronic, glitchy, digital sound. Digital is probably the best way to put it. Uh, and it still feels very fresh, even though I've heard it a couple times now and a couple EPs and a couple of the projects and like a bunch of singles, I st it still feels nice and fresh every time I hear it. So uh, it's got simple vocals with a unique beat and uh, it's a solid track. Um, very fascinating that we got two songs called Call Me Up uh, with both a old school flip phone, uh, or not, both of them were flip phone, old school like kind of phone album art. So. Very interesting. Uh, we got two of those in one week, in one day, actually. And our penultimate track of the week is Higher by Mr. Fiji Ouija featuring Chase. I uh, really, really love Chase's vocals on this. I think this might be one of their best collaborations to date. Um, one of, there's a bunch, I, or, I, or a couple I like more, but I think, but uh, yeah, I, I love the accompanying vocal chops that Fiji does and the processing he does to the vocals. I'm a big fan of what he always does with that kind of trip hop sound, especially, uh, yeah, going for those specific chops that he has that are very uh, Fiji-esque, I would say. That is kind of his bread and butter. Uh, it's a longer track uh, that, uh, at least in recent memory from Fiji's uh, recent releases, and it allows it to be a little bit more expansive with a kind of sped up ending that was uh, quite interesting. They don't really hear from Fiji. Uh, best best track from Fiji, I think I've heard in, in a little bit. So way to go, Fiji. Way to go, Chase. Uh, and our top track of the week is actually a standout track, a standout, and I am shocked it's here. I'm not going to lie. I am shocked this is here as much as it was. Uh, it is Fall Apart by Sullivan King and Excision. This is probably again, personally, my opinion, my favorite Sullivan King and Excision track of all time, both of their individually uh, that I've ever heard. I actually think this thing is phenomenal. I think the mixing is incredible. There's a great tug and uh, pull kind of balance between um, the heavy big moments and the lighter, more reserved, softer vocal driven uh, off courses. And yeah, vocals are absolutely clean. Uh, again, I cannot emphasize how much I think the mixing is great on this. I thought the last single, um, the, uh, the actual Thrones of uh, Blood single actually wasn't that great. I don't think it was mixed very well. It felt very flat. This one felt super dynamic and I loved pretty much everything about this track. So I was shocked how much I enjoyed this. Um, that's uh, Fall Apart. But uh, other than that, that has been this week in EDM. Those are the new tracks that have came out. Uh, let me know what you think of any and all of these songs in the comment section below. Other than that, I've been Bowtie Media without a bow tie, and I will see you guys in another video.